The Bible has God miraculously creating the world and everything in it in just six days about 6,000 years ago. But the theory of evolution has a much different time scale, taking millions of years to go from goo to me and you by way of the zoo. Which view is correct? Well, to be honest, both views require faith because no one was there thousands or millions of years ago to observe how it all got started. But can the idea of millions of years of evolution be scientifically validated? Can we really prove this idea of deep time using the same observational science we use for making medicine and putting people on the moon? Validation is the process of confirming what is believed to be true by what can be observed to be true. Has this ever been done for radiometric dating? The process that gives us the very idea of long ages? Actually, long ages and radiometric dating hasn't stood up to the validation test. Radiometric dating has never been validated against the absolute known ages of rocks. Let us explain. Consider Mount St. Helens. This volcano erupted in the 1980s, giving scientists the opportunity to date the rocks that were formed from the eruption. The results? Five different ages all between 350,000 and 2.8 million years old for rocks that we know were less than 30 years old. This discrepancy happens all the time in radiometric dating studies. In fact, there has never been a radiometric dating analysis that simply produces ages that validate to the known ages of rocks. And if radiometric dating doesn't work for rocks of known ages, why do we trust it for rocks of unknown ages? So, the next time you hear millions of years ago this happened or that, just ask, how do you know that for sure? And if radiometric dating is the answer given, just ask, are you aware of a study where the radiometric age of a rock agreed with the known age of the rock? And you'll find the answer will undoubtedly be no. God wrote with his own hand that he created the heavens and the earth, the sea, and all that is in them in just six ordinary days. The genealogies in Genesis lead us straight back to Adam, just about 6,000 years ago. Have you ever noticed how hard the world pushes the idea of millions of years? Books, movies, museums, schools, it's everywhere. But does any of this even matter? Well, consider this. Many people will only consider the Bible's message if they believe the Bible to be credible, both historically and scientifically. Each person's eternity, either in heaven or hell, depends on what they believe about the risen Christ. And how do we know about this? Well, it's in the Bible. And if people don't believe the Bible got it right on the first page, who's going to trust the rest? So, because it takes faith to believe in either the Bible or the world's view of this distant past, is it a better choice to trust God or a fallible man? Download the Genesis Apologetics mobile app here for more videos on this topic and others.